Welcome back. We are above the national average, but this is not a statistic to be proud of. 27% of Connecticut high school students use e-cigarettes. That's 7% higher than the average nationwide. So what vaping does to young people is concerning to medical experts. A recent CDC study found that 99% of the e-cigarettes sold in the U.S. contain nicotine, which can harm the developing adolescent brain. I spoke with a pulmonologist about what he's seeing. Vaping kids concerns me a lot as a doctor, concerns me a lot as a parent. St. Vincent's Medical Center pulmonologist Phil Simkovitz says because vaping is not as harsh as cigarette smoking, younger people may be prone to inhale more. When you see the pictures of kids vaping and the vapor coming out of them and the amount that they use, it's really staggering. He says vaping in young people is a gateway because nicotine is an extremely addictive substance. That could lead to cigarette smoking, which is known for its proven health dangers. He has seen lung damage in patients from vaping. The um, inflammation in the lungs can lead to some scarring and some long-term damage. Well, the acute presentation when patients got sick was really very much like a pneumonia, where the people were short of breath, they were coughing. Uh, there uh, was chest pain. Dr. Simkovitz says vaping puts a number of substances into the lungs, including heavy metals. Cadmium and lead may cause direct damage. The rest seem to cause damage by um, inflammation. Even lead, he says, and it is a new phenomenon for doctors. The thing about vaping is we don't have a lot of years of people vaping to have long-term experience as to what are going to be the long-term Effects. Another concern of his is that children are not as equipped to recognize addiction or know how to get help for it. 